Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, it's me again, Christine. We're here today in the lesson, the top 25 Afrikaans phrases. So they're obviously the ones that you definitely want to know if you want to know Afrikaans. They're super simple, most of them, and easy to learn. The ones that everyone always like learns these words in all the different languages. So let's get started. Hello. 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 It's pretty straightforward. It's a greeting. It's what you say to everyone. It sounds the same as most languages, so it's pretty uh, an easy one to remember. Goeiemorgen. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. Goeiemorgen. Good morning. So 
This one's a little bit hard because it's got the ugh sound, but in the morning, we're all feeling ugh anyway, so it's a great way, great time to use this. Practice it the next time you wake up in the morning and say hello to whoever you see the first thing in the morning and just say, Goeiemorgen. Goeiemiddag. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. Goeiemiddag. Good afternoon. So it's very similar to Goeiemorgen, but this time you're changing the second word to middag adding an extra in there because now by by middag time the day's hard and you, all you want is some lunch so you're adding more in there and just saying middag as if it's angry but try to say it with a smile and then it's even nicer goeiemiddag goeienag goeienag good night goeienag good night so that's what you say before you go to bed, obviously. And by now, you're thinking of the dreams that you might have tonight or the comfy, warm bed that you're going to in a cold winter's day. Um, not like today, obviously. <laughs> but it's something that everyone wants to hear. It's nice to say it to the people around you before going to bed. Like, end your day on a nice, calm note by telling everyone around you. Goeie nacht. What is your norm? What is Yo nom. What is your name? What is your nom? What's your name? So this is obviously the one that you want to know when you're going out in a new place, especially in South Africa or anywhere where you know there's Afrikaans people and you want to know who they are, what like know more about them. So it's always an easy icebreaker. What is your nom? Get to know their name. Try to think of a way that you'll remember it by making up little anagrams in your head or whatever. It's what I usually do because I'm very bad at remembering names. But definitely a useful phrase to know. Ek is Christine. Ek is Christine. I'm Christine. And then if they ask you that question or if you've just asked that question, the likely response is Ek is Nam. I am name. So you'd insert your name, obviously, you wouldn't say Ek is Nam. You would say, I would say, Ek is Christine. I am Christine. So pretty simple response. What is your Nam? Ek is... And then say your name. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. Aangename kennis. Nice to meet you. So now you've said hello, you've said goeiemorgen, goeiemiddag, goeienacht, whatever, whatever time of day it is. You've asked them what their name is, you've told them what your name is, so now you're saying it's nice to meet you. Aangename kennis. It's a simple conversation going on here, so it's very important to know all these little phrases. Hoe gaan dit met jou? Hoe gaan Dit met yo. How are you? Hoe gaan dit met yo? How are you? So now in the conversation, you're at that part where you've realized that they have a cool name, they seem pretty cool, and you want to know a little bit more about them. So you ask them, hoe gaan dit? And then remember to listen, because people always say this, and then don't listen to the response, or don't really care about the response. Only ask these things if you care, because it's, it's way nicer that way. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? And then the typical response, or hopefully the response because it's positive. Goed dankie en met jou. Goed dankie en met jou. I'm fine, thanks. And you? So that obviously follows the previous one. Um, answering how you are doing and then asking back to the person because that's only polite. You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm fine, thanks, bye. You want to be polite, ask them how they're doing back if they asked it first. Otherwise, maybe don't say it if you asked it first because then it's just like a continuous cycle that's never ending. Asseblief. Asseblief. Please. Asseblief. Please. Very 
popular in South Africa because we're all very polite people here. But please remember, see, I said it there again. Please remember to be polite when you're asking for something or commenting on something that requires a please. No, it'll be a question. So be polite, remember your manners and say us a belief if you are looking for something. Donkey. Donkey. Thank you. Donkey. Thank you. So there we go again with the politeness. Be very kind and warm when someone tells you something or compliments you or gives you an answer to that as a belief question that you just asked. Say thanks. Say donkey. And if you can't remember the word, think of a donkey. That's how I always used to tell people. And then just change the, the sound a little bit because you can't say donkey. You must say donkey. Jij is welkom. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. Jij is welkom. You're welcome. So that's the response if someone said danke to you, you're obviously going to say you're welcome. Jij is welkom. Because it wasn't such a schlep for you to tell them what they wanted and you don't mind telling them. So, jij is welkom. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Pretty straightforward. Yes. Positive response to something. So, pretty easy. Nee. Nee. No. Nee. No. Also pretty straightforward, but try not to use it so much because it's going to be a downer on anyone, unless it's something definitely that needs a no for a response. But ja and nee. Pretty easy going. Used quite often, so good ones to remember. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. It's very simple because it's the same as the English and most other languages, just like I said hello. Um, okay means, yeah, sure, okay, we'll do this, or okay, I'll have that for lunch, or okay, you make the plans. It's used every day in so many different ways, so it's easy to remember, okay. Verskoen my. Verskoen my. Excuse me. Verskoen my. Excuse me. This is a part of that politeness again. If you are leaving the table or you're walking away from something because you don't really like the conversation going on, you just politely say, Verskoen my. As a belief as well, if you want to be even more nice. Even nicer. Ek is jammer. Ek is Yamer. I'm sorry. Ek is yamer. I'm sorry. So, unfortunately, this one means you've done something wrong or you've said something that's not so polite. But just be a human being and say sorry if a sorry is needed. And then remember, ek is yamer. Who laat is dit? Who laat is dit? What time is it? Who lot is it? What's the time? This is funny. The translation isn't exactly what's the time, but that's how we say it here in South Africa. You literally say, how late is it? Because you're always late for something or you're always thinking it's later than it is. So try to remember it that way. We're always late. So that's why we say, who lot is it? Like, how late is it? Waar is die badkamer? Waar is die Bat kamer. Where is the restroom? Var is the bat kamer? Where is the restroom? This one you'll probably use when you're out at the restaurants or at a random friend's house that you've never been to before and you really need a wee. <laughs> so you're going to be needing this one. So remember, var is the bat kamer? Vach a biki. Vach a biki. Wait a moment. Wach a biki. Wait a moment. You're a little bit busy in a conversation and someone comes and chirps in and all you want to say is just hold on. So if you ever in these situations and you have friends that like to interrupt you, then maybe you should learn wach a biki. And you could always add as a belief as well if you don't want to sound too rude and like cut offy. You can say wach a biki, as a belief. Who feel costed? Who feel costed? 
How much is this? Hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? Now you're in the shops. So you've been to the restaurants, you've been to friends' house, you've been everywhere, and now you're in the shops and you're seeing this beautiful new thing that you really want to buy. But, you know, you're on holiday, so you can't just be splurging money everywhere. So you're going to have to ask this question quite often. Hoeveel kost dit? Help. 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 Luckily, this word, because it has so much going on and it's obviously urgent, is usually the same in most languages. So it's pretty straightforward if you know English. Help it sounds the same in Afrikaans and is used in the same way. Sin jou later. Sin jou later. See you later. Sin jou later. See you later. You finish at the restaurant, you're going home or at the shops or whatever, and you're saying, ciao, I'm going to see you later. Signor later. Um, obviously, one to use all the time comes alongside a goodbye. So remember, signor later. And maybe I'll see you later in some of the other videos. <laughs> Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Um, Directly translated, tot ziens means until I see you again, which is quite nice because you're always assuming that a good bye isn't a bad bye <laughs> and you will reconnect again at some point. So tot ziens means until next time, but it actually means goodbye. Ek weet nie. Ek weet nie. I don't know. Ek weet nie. I don't know. It's okay to not know. We don't all know everything. So it's a good, this is a good one to know. <laughs> if someone asks you a question or asks you directions and you don't know because you're just a tourist here, remember to say, Ek weet nie. I use this all the time and it irritates my friends, but I'm honest at least. So, Ek weet nie. So we've reached the end of today's lesson of the top 25 phrases in Afrikaans. I hope they're useful for you because they should be. We use them all the time and I hope they're simple enough for you to remember. And good luck using them. Uh, I hope you meet loads of new people when you come to South Africa or speak to South Africans. And let me know in the comments down below if you have or if they've helped you or if you're struggling with any of the pronunciations or something like that. Remember to like, follow, subscribe and keep learning Afrikaans on AfrikaansPod101.com. Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, I'm back. It's me, Christine, and today's lesson, the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. So it's going to be a difficult one, and remember to get those mouth muscles moving because we're going to be using them quite a bit in this lesson today. Goeie. Goeie. Good. Dit is goeie nies. That is good news. This one's hard to say because it's got the ch sound that's so popular in Afrikaans language. Um, just pretend that you're really angry or irritated at something and you're going, ugh, and then keep that sound and go, goeie, goeie. And it's a goeie thing to learn it because it's used all the time. Nies. Nies. News. Ek het baie goeie nies. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie nies to tell me because if you do, it means you've learned the ch and the nies, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going, making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie nies. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Can I your car gebruik? Can I use your car? This one's a little bit as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens, but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend. So this is that word. You you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word. So the word is gebruik the ch sound as before, and now we've added a new sound, oi, oi, gebruik. Rak, rak, shelf. Die rak is full stof. The shelf is full of dust. 
This word it has the it doesn't have the kh that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's the rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rak. More. More. Morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a rr like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more, because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently and they sometimes say more, but it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the kos that we were just talking about. The weather is lekker. The party was lekker. The drink is lekker. My friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time. So it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth so it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say actually if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te spring. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's of the ch sound and the ek, which means me. So it's like you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word. It's a gek lekker word. Crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever. So it's important to learn this word because maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ras. Ras. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbors are very noisy. Just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's, there's quite a lot of noise going on but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So ras. So we've made it to the end of the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. If you haven't managed them, that's okay. They're very hard and like I said, they're the 10 hardest. So keep on trying, keep using that mouth and Say all those things, say it weirdly in the mirror. Look at your mouth when you're saying them. And that sometimes helps because it helps your muscle memory to remember how to do them. And if you know any other words that you found that are hard to pronounce, put them in the comments below. Like these videos, please subscribe and just keep learning Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's Christine and we're here to do some Afrikaans today in the lesson 10 things you always want to hear. So we're all excited about this one, obviously, because I'm going to be telling you things that you want to hear. <laughs> Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assumed that you returned the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people. If you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag because it's always nice to make someone else's day ek miss jou i miss you ek miss jou i miss you long lost friends long lost lovers parents in different countries whatever today's world we're all over the globe our friends live in china our brother lives in england today it's really common to know people that live really really far away from us and 
It's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you, but it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out, think about that friend, and let them know, ek miss jou. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. Jy het a goeie werk gedoen. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good, and at the end of the day, you might get rewarded. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar sal a bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jy doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jy is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Jy is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat, or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on, um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner, and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday, and they tell you that, and just, oh, what a relief. The food was great, the guy thinks it's great, or your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoonmaak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports. Do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. <laughs> en jy wen and you win. En jy wen. And you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jy was raag. You were right. Jy was raag. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling, you get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. You've got an unlimited budget, an unbeperkte begroting to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang the best one there is because you've got everything you need, you can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't come around often. So we've come to the end of today's session of 10 things you always want to hear. There's obviously plenty more things that we always want to hear so let us know in the comments below if you like to hear these things or if they irritate you hopefully not because they're quite they're quite nice things to hear um but if you agree with some of them if someone recently told you them and let us know how you felt because that would be really cool to like let other people feel that joy that you felt as well um so like comment subscribe and keep visiting our channel afrikaanspod101.com Want to improve reading in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top 10 ways to practice reading with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. Number one, start a lesson and read along with the lesson notes. With every lesson, you get bonus lesson notes. These give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocabulary, and the grammar explanations. So as you listen to a lesson, 
read along with the lesson notes. By listening and reading along, you hear how each word is pronounced and can easily keep up. Number two, read with the dialogue study tool. With the dialogue study tool, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of a lesson's conversation. You get the text, the translation, the audio, and, if applicable, the romanization, so you can read and listen to each line individually. To practice your reading, reread and review each line until you master it. Then, move on to the next line. You get this feature in every one of our lessons. Number three, read along with the lesson transcript. You also get transcripts with every lesson. These are word-for-word -word scripts of everything that was said in the lesson and are completely free to access. So use these to read along. Number four, download the PDF notes and transcripts. Want to practice reading on your own time? Save the lesson notes and transcripts as PDFs to your device and keep them forever. That way you can open them up and practice reading at any time. You can also print the PDFs out to keep as physical reading material. Number five, practice with extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read as many books as possible at a level that's easy for you. And you follow these two rules. One, you skip over words you don't know. And two, you jump to a new book if the current one is boring. The goal is to help you master reading, vocab, and grammar simply by reading a lot without getting stuck on minor words. You can find extensive reading books from absolute beginner level to advanced. These are simple one line per page books and all of the translations are on the lesson page. Simply look for the extensive reading pathways in the lesson library. You can also download these books as PDFs and print them out. Number six, take your time and read slowly. Whether you're reading with the notes, books, or the dialogue tool, be sure to take your time. Read the lines slowly on the first try, just like a child would when they start learning to read. This is so you can get acquainted with every word. Number seven, then speed up your reading. Once you've read a line slowly and are familiar with the words, start speeding up. Reread that same line a little bit faster on the second try, and then a little faster on the third try. Doing this will help you read faster. Number eight, take the reading comprehension video lessons. These lessons are specifically designed to test your reading skills. You're presented with a real life scenario, such as reading a sign at the train station and are tested on the words presented on the screen. Don't worry, you get the answer at the end. And translations are available in the dialogue section. Number nine, get reading assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more reading lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including reading. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. See you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.